Hi, this is Ketana Eternal Blossom Apartment located at Kadu Bisanahalli on Outer Ring Road, Bangalore. Uh, we will see how rainwater harvesting has been implemented in this apartment. This apartment has 140 apartments or rather 140 flats spread over 3,200 square meter of roof area. That's what we call a catchment area of 3,200 square meter. We'll see where the catchment is there, where the water falls, where the how, how the water is conveyed to the basement and how from basement how the water goes into the filter and how the filtration is made and how the water goes into the sump. This is one of the down pipes which is coming from the top, from the catchment area. Like this, there are about 28 pipes. This comes from the top and from here, we make a grid of pipes in the basement. From the, those 28 pipes, the grid of pipe is installed at the basement ceiling level, through which all the water is conveyed to the filtration tank located outside. There was one challenge in this project, that was that balcony water was also mixing with the rainwater. So we had to do another network of pipes at the basement level to separate the balcony water. So at the end of the day, only we want only rainwater to go into the sump. So the balcony water has been segregated and it is actually taken into a recharge well outside. Pipe is uh, laid underground like this. The water is conveyed in this uh, underground pipe. And uh, this is an inspection chamber. Okay, you can see the pipe network inside. You can also see there is a small cap given here. This cap acts as a bypass valve. For example, if you don't need the water for some purpose, or for example, you're cleaning the roof or something, you can open this cap and the water does not get into the filter. In the, the underground pipe comes into the first line separator or a settling tank through this pipe. The water plunges into this first line separator or a settling tank. The water builds up in this chamber. The overflow water goes through this pipe into the filter. The water which stays in this chamber goes down into the earth through a soak away pipe given at the bottom. So this is the first line separator. The water come water from the the water comes in the first line separator. The overflow from the settling tank or the first line separator goes into the filtration tank. These two are the filtration tank. So the water goes in this pipe, gets into the first filtration tank from top. So the water filters through this filter media, and there's a pipe given at the bottom of the first chamber. So the water gets through this pipe and builds up in this second chamber. So it's called an upflow filter. So the water comes from top to bottom in the first chamber and bottom to top in the second chamber. So the water flows like this, filters through two rounds of filtration media in two separate chambers, and then goes into the sump through this pipe. 